Last year, if you recall, I won an ice award with my Mickey Mouse walk cycle animation, which was done in Lightwave 3D. This year, the tables have turned. My project was based around modeling, particularly this character here, Joan of Arc, who I'll get to later. Another difference is this year, we began using Autodesk Maya, an industry standard modeling software that I discovered to be free through a student license. <laughs> I saved the school thousands of dollars and found us a better tool. <laughs> anyway, the entire project consisted of following a famed 3D tutorial originally by Michael Roger, which was in French and translated to English and was made for another standard 3D modeling software, 3DS Max. The tutorial itself goes from A to Z in character creation, going from modeling to texturing and rigging. However, because I've been kind of busy and took a really long time to get really good with Maya, I only got through most of the modeling portion. Still, this is Joan. She kind of looks like an alien, but that's mainly because I wasn't able to add hair or textures. Now that I think about it, she kind of looks like Ventress from Star Wars The Clone Wars. In any event, she didn't start off this way. The modeling began, oddly enough, with modeling stuff you can't see. It's best to build the body and model clothes over in reference. Since Joan is a lady, my modeling led to everybody chuckling over my shoulder for a month. In fact, I'd use some stupid sensors up until a couple weeks before completion. Took a lot of patience and maturity. Moving on, the entire character was made using essentially two tools. Extrude, which pulls out another face from your selection, or so it would seem, and Move, which, as you can guess, is used to move vertices and other things around to where they look good. Another couple of practices used here were mirroring and smoothing, aka symmetry and subdivision. Mirroring involves making only half of the model with what's called an instance of the same object reflected to the opposite side. Subdivision is a commonly used technique for smoothing 3D models, which, using some kind of algorithm, turns this into this. Heck of a lot prettier, right? I think it's kind of odd I've been nominated for this too, I mean, I'm not even done with it, as you can see. All the same though, I did not spend four months on a single model for nothing, so please, vote Joan of Arc. 